This one. So now the Sangod is about to take off. It's uh, just past 3.30. They've said some prayers. Uh, the fiberglass boats are tied together. And uh, it's, it's a form of showing unity in the village. And togetherness and understanding. In the background the chapel bell is ringing. Uh, it's 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 a wet and rainy day because it's check, the, check. the check end of July 2023. I've got a friend who's helping me here with the camera with the with the umbrella. So thanks to him, we are a bit dry. But uh, I can't risk going on the on the canoes. I don't know anything could happen. My camera could get very wet for one. Why? So, so they just finished their prayers and they told me this tradition. Boita, boita, tu, tu boita. What's on Zaykme? Yeah, me. Bare, 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 bare. So, I've just shifted my location because of the wetness all over. So there are fishing nets here, as you can make out this is a small fishing hamlet and uh, they were just saying that this tradition has been carrying on for 135 years. So it's, it's the backwaters of Kandoli, Nerul, that area. Tough life, tough life. Totally unseen in much of the media. The tourist brochures won't hype up this. But this is what Goa is all about. So I guess that uh, out migration has happened here. So many people from the area, from the village have, have migrated to uh, other places. The, the balloons have been used to decorate the fiberglass boats. So when I asked them, they said that earlier they used canoes. They used canoes to, to, to take out this sangod. Sangod means Sangod is some kind of word that I would guess means unity, togetherness, coming together. The exact nuances get get me a bit lost, but someone could comment below. So there are blue and white balloons all over the place. It's a very festive occasion. Despite the rain, there is a band, there is a brass band. My friend Xavier Paklaw. A saxophonist friend from Divar and a Gumot player from Porvori just getting into action. As the boats go away, they are not going to go very far. They are just going to be in the in in the backwaters, maybe 20-30 meters away. But the idea is that they are away. They are away from the shore. So I heard.
I heard prayers for safety, safety for the fishermen and things like that. They also said they were paying tribute to their ancestors who started this festival 135 years back. And they said that there used to be three sangots, three, three of these uh, boat bearing festivals to St. Peter's in different parts of Kandoli. Kandoli is a coastal village, earlier fishing village now, now very much touristy. But that's along the seashore, inside, like you know, just about one or two, three kilometers inside. It's another world. So I think, uh, yeah, they are launching the ships, the, the boats, sorry, not the ships, the boats. And uh, they have names like Santan Haven. One boat say, calls itself Santan Haven. All the guys are aboard. Okay, then. So everyone is getting a hand to get on board. And that music is getting started. take a bit of time I guess everything has to go smooth <laughs> <laughs> 